there are two points in life that we live 24 hours a day dawn and the dusk the dawn is it has not become fully the day it has yet to become a day and it is not yet dark the dusk is also the same thing it has not become fully dark and it has not left the day The masters of the Eastern wisdom points out that we have that moment every 24 hours. These two movements are there. During the day, you see the traffic in the traffic jam. And during the night, you find hardly one or two cars are moving on the highway. The highway is totally empty. <clears throat> Similarly, our mind pushes us early in the morning to perform hundreds of actions to fulfill the desire. But before that, we have a moment when the mind is totally fresh, calm, we don't realize it. There is a natural state of solitude. You know, we talk of solitude, we go to the forest, that is explained the life of one prastha, you go to the forest in the Himalayas to meditate, it, nothing will happen there. Because I'm not understanding my mind in the life. <clears throat> and the same thing happens in the evening, which uh, I say dusk. You have performed all the actions, the mind has set, oh, I have done this action, I have left those, that I will take up tomorrow. So that moment is also a moment of solitude. We miss that moment. because we are running, running and running in our life to fulfill the desires. Some desires are fulfilled, others are not. We get frustrated, angry, reacting and all that. We recognize these two movements. Now, am I talking of dawn in the dusk at the physical level? No, I'm talking of the mind, the nature, and the state of the mind. The mind should be given an opportunity for right knowledge, <coughs> followed by contemplation and reflection on every activity that we do. That is known as the life of Vanaprastha. Vanaprastha means forest, distant place. So, what is that distant place in the mind? Leave everything, whatever we are doing outside. Go into that state of contemplation. Leave aside everything that we have been doing just for 10 or 15 minutes every day. <clears throat> and in that state of the mind, which is away from the family, personal, professional, and the social lives and its activities, so that this mind can reflect what is right knowledge, what is right desire, whether to check whether my instruments are functioning properly. Instruments mean body, mind, intellect, and these energy, if they are not functioning properly, and I have a desire that will fight with my instruments, push me, 
to a limit, I will suffer from illnesses. It is that right knowledge inside my head every day in the morning, 10-15 minutes, so that this mind is not dictated by the desires coming from the attachment and lot of thinking about those objects subjected by the sense organs. One, so the, and then what happens? The intellect chooses. The intellect contemplates and reflects on this. So my knowledge about owning a particular object or performing a particular activity is free from uh, doubt and free from any kind of projection. So what is going to happen? The mind is totally calm. The intellect is totally clear. Now you have started working on the mind and you start living a life. What kind of a life? You are making the entire life a celebration. We'll talk in detail sometime later these stages of life. But understand that. Understanding is very important before you uh, slip into any kind of a practice. Many people ask me, which mantra is powerful? Give me that mantra. Every mantra is powerful. Every mantra is written on the Google. So Google is the most powerful. Go and have that mantra. I have to become powerful inside before I use any mantra. That is the message of the Eastern wisdom. There has to be a clarity. 